What's up, guys? It is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD. And if this is your first time checking this guy out, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on Windows Server stuff. So let's get started. So I am super excited that Microsoft released a new server and it's Windows Server 2019. I'm going to show you guys the installation process. It's the same concept as installing Server 2012 R2 as well as Server 2016. But this is kind of a first look for those individuals that want to get themselves into uh, playing around with Server 2019. Okay. First things first, I am testing everything within uh, my virtual environment. I am using VMware Workstation. I created a folder within my E drive and I called it BJ Win 2019. Right? Nice little containers, empty. Uh, I went inside my VMware Workstation. I went to File, New Virtual Machine. I clicked on Next. Clicked on next here. From here, I picked Microsoft Windows, and the version is going to be Server 2016. I know we're installing Server 2019, but eventually VMware is going to be updating their workstation application to 2019. So 2016 should work with no problem. Click on next, uh, give your virtual machine the name and also the location. Click next. I gave it the default of 60 gigs, which is not that bad. 60 gigs is the default for 2012 as well as 2016, so why not for 2019? Click next on that, hit finish, and then we're done. Great. You want to click on edit virtual machine, and you're going to get this dialog box. We want to go inside the CD DVD. And the reason why we need to get inside the CD DVD because we need to mount IRSO. Now I will provide you the link at the bottom of the description. So you click on it and it's, it's going to take you to the Microsoft site so you can download the ISO or a Hyper-V uh, file to insert it into your Hyper-V server if that's what you want to do. Now from here you want to uh, check off connect at power. And once you do that, click on use ISO image file and click on browse so i have an iso folder where i have all my isos for any build or any image so i clicked on that folder and i went inside my windows server 2019 folder and this build is 17623 this is a version that's released for the public to start testing uh, you do have to be part of the windows insider program to get a hold of this iso so uh select it open and that's it, you're good to go. So okay, once you click okay, it is time to power your virtual machine. So just hit the power. And it's going to start loading up. It's the same screen that you normally see within 2012 R2 or the 2016 process. So it's nothing nothing special here. Once it process, you're gonna get this right here. You're gonna pick your language, the time, and also your keyboard. By default, everything works for me in my environment, so I just click next. Uh, click install. The setup is starting. This is normal for us. This is not something special. And eventually, you're gonna get this right here. Now, the key I will provide it within a Google Doc with the information that you guys need, so don't worry about it. Uh, if you don't have the key, just hit I don't have a product key. You know, the, the image is only going to last, I think, three or four months before it expires. Uh, but if you keep the image up to date when Microsoft pushes out updates, I think it's going to extend that expiration date. So once you either enter the key or I don't have a product key, it's going to go to next. It's only going to provide you two images. So the ISO is going to provide you data center, which is the core one. That means you have to enter sconfig or enable PowerShell to do whatever commands you want. If you don't want that, you could do the desktop experience. So that is the version that I picked for my testing. And I clicked on next. Uh, make sure you accept the license and terms. Uh, it's up to you if you want to read it. And then you click on next. And then from here, you're going to pick custom install Windows Advance. Uh, the reason why I'm picking that is because I have a empty virtual machine container with uh, unallocated space 60 gigs so that is what we want and we're going to click on next and it's going to start processing uh the installation is it's real quick uh once it's done it's going to reboot you're going to see this starting services and uh again it's getting devices ready this process takes it's really normal it's just like installing server 2016. you're almost done you're going to get this from here you want to enter your password make sure you remember it because this is your admin local password 
So I entered my password, and from here I confirmed it. It finished, and that's it. Do a control alt delete. Enter your password for your admin, and you're it's gonna start processing and creating the user profile for the first time. And then you're inside your environment, your Windows Server 2019, and there it goes. How awesome is that? It doesn't. It looks just like Server 2016. I definitely need to get into this environment and see what's new. Uh, but overall, and I even do a Win VR to show you guys that this is uh, 2019. They're considering it version 1803 and build 17623.102. That's a lot. And the expiration date is going to expire 7 2 of 2018 at 10:38 a.m. I'm assuming if you keep this machine up to date, this will extend, but I don't know. Uh, I'm just assuming. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this process of installing Server 2019 within your environment. If you have this run up and running in your environment, uh, what's new? Let me know at the bottom of the video, at the description. I will provide a link to this PowerPoint because it is a PowerPoint, and you guys can follow along and write notes and do whatever you guys want to do. And thank you so much, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.